So I think you and I both know that the Phoenix Suns wasn't going to be a destination for the man till to be able to compete for an NBA championship. Now you see the new squad we're working with as far as the LA Lakers and my role in the top right corner is six man right now. Now the goal is for us to get in the lineup and take KCP's spot. That way we can have Lonzo, myself, LeBron, Kuzma, and McGee. But we'll see how everything plays out because I know I'm not taking LeBron's spot. So let's get into this next one, my people. All right, we're checking in for the first time with the Lakers. Stop it. And unfortunately they took out LeBron which I'm not happy about that. Let's get Beasley on a little pick and pop right now because I know he got the mid range, but he also got that deep range if he wanted, knocking it down for us quick too. Now it looks like I'm guarding Evan Turner for now, but I know they may rotate me off 3J as well. And you see he's trying to get that fading. Let's see if I can get it up the floor. What we got going on? Nothing special. I'm gonna just let him move. Give it to Rondo. Get out of his way. Oh yeah, pick and roll with JaVale. Go ahead and clear out. Find some space. Beasley, what are you gonna do with it? Rondo getting caught up out to me. Can I pop the quick three? Not getting it to go. I'll take that shot every now and then. Oh, into the corner. 3J. Surprising miss there. Give it to Josh Hart. One of my favorite players for the Lakers right now. What are you gonna do? Ooh, nice little razzle dazzle around the rim. Okay. I really feel like they can be a true contender in the West if they have a true 3 and D guy that can help them out. Now, I know they're hoping Josh Hart can really be that guy to come off the bench, provide some scoring from three, and also some great defense on the guards. But we'll see. Amino with the quick bucket, though. Now, as far as the Lakers this year, what are your opinions on them potentially having success right away? Do you think it's going to be enough just having LeBron in the supporting pieces that they got? I'm at the basket, though. Slashing without any fear at all, moving off the ball, slipping by, making plays. These uniforms LA have went back to, this is just super dope. I like that they brought back the Showtime style, but hey, Dame slipping by, JaVale being that rim protector. Can I help? Nurkic, what's his plan? Trying to put up a quick one, not getting it. Let's push up the floor, who we got? I got Hart in the corner. Can he pop the three? Not getting it, but Beasley. Can I contest? Good stuff. Getting in the way of that. I thought he was going to get something going with it. Quick spin move, though. Okay. Okay. They're losing it. And we're making a play all the way. Look, these guys could not keep up with me. The hesitations, the stop and goals. Boy. All right, Rondo, I got this screen for you. Here we go. Now I'm popping out. Dame didn't close out, and that was a mistake. Don't do me like that. If you give him space off of the pick and pop, he's going to put that thing up and let it drop. They're doing some more off-ball movement. I see they're trying to work to get CJ open. Oh, never mind. They're going to Nurkic. Missing it, though. Good stuff. Who I see up the floor. We got Josh Hart. Somebody find him. Hold on, let's get it back. Let's see if I can get a pick and pop with Hart because he got Nurkic on him. Good stuff. Go ahead and take that. Even if it's contested because he's knocking it down. Sometimes you just need a heat check with your team. We got floor generals out here, playmakers. Hey, it's a good look as far as us being able to get up our shots and a rim protector stopping anything that's around him. Here we go. Hart, yet again. Can he get something going at the rim? Flicking that thing up and getting that later drop. Good stuff. Trying to give them space to work the two-man game if they want it out there. Oh, yeah? Finding me? Maybe for the green beam? 
having a floor general out here is just gonna give me crazy boost to my shooting abilities it's a good look and they working this pick and roll i'm here though zach collins not gonna have success against me there you go i'm here back in the curry's hands long range that's what i expected that's his game all right lonzo quick pick popping out one more time with a lot of space knocking it down one more time we got some inbound action with 320 left i'm gonna go ahead and stick with 53 i don't know his name but i'm here Let's see he's trying to get by working a little bit of a handle don't do it we here that's a bad shot good stuff i'm running the floor is it showtime for us what what you gotta finish stronger than that i mean the lay is fine but boy zach collins going back up with it no go let's get it find somebody up the floor kcp don't lose the rock let's go ahead and take our time with it into the floor general's hands and he finds kcp cut into the basket so we got some inbound action with 116 left and we pretty much put our stamp on this game and i had space Fine, KCP. Oh, uh, you didn't get it. I got. Uh, you want this pick? Go ahead and take it. I'm at the basket though. One more to Lonzo. Back out. Let's clear it. I'm gonna get 53 out of the paint. Kuzma stepping it back. Perfect. Yes, sir. Dot him up out here. Lonzo, let's get this screen. Oh yeah, they gave me free lane. Who I see out there in the corner? KCP with the three. Good stuff. So at the half, a 61 to 26 performance, and the points are being put up at will. Hey, let's see what they got to say about us. The Lakers certainly didn't have a problem putting up points in the opening half. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunity. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailblazers have got themselves in a bad situation that seems likely to only get worse. There isn't enough time to get into all of their problems, but I'll tell you this, they need to try to get better. Have a look at the leading scores for the Portland Trailblazers. All right, so we checked into the game with 835 left in the third. Looks like my matchup is Evan Turner. Shouldn't be a problem, but you see, the Portland Trailblazers got some shooters out there. And Dame, with a quick step back, I thought he was going to dot him up on that. Rondo, can he find me at the basket? Quick little alley-oop. Hey, I wanted to finish strong, but hey, a bucket's a bucket. Aminu on the wing, letting Evan Turner do a lot of moving. Oh, we find him cutting to the basket. No, nah, no, nah, we are there. We got strength and numbers, and I'm running, though. See if he can find me. I'm going all the way to the basket. Put that thing up. Friendly roll at the rim. Evan Turner really trying to get busy right now. No, sir. We are here. Over to Dame. Oh, this is a terrible mismatch. Look at this. He's about to exploit this with all he can. Let me see if I can help him a little bit. There we go. We have multiple bodies there, but it still wasn't enough. Boy. Oh, yeah, I'm cutting to the basket on this situation. Yes, sir! Showtime plays every now and then using that strength. Those interactions, especially having strength on a character, it literally gives you a clear advantage. Evan Turner, we're not able to stop it. JaVale protecting the rim yet again. Here we go. Let me see if I can go all the way with this one. Yes, sir! Let's see, we got eight seconds left. Kuzma, let's go quick pick and pop with you. Not really the best situation range. there, but he can knock it down from long range, contested or not. All right, quick 15 seconds left. Ooh, wee, they're doubling me, huh? Not even giving me a chance. What is this? Yeah, let's work the handle. I got KCP going to the basket, winding his way through. So it's 99 to 57 with 250 left in my people. We really have put on a performance. Aminu's putting up a quick mid-range, but it really don't matter. Beating this team by 40. Good gravy. And we're popping out on this pick yet again. See if we can knock it down from long range. Contested or not, we can strap up at any time. At this point in the game, it's now to just fill up the stat sheet. Let's see. 
If I can get it one more time, green beam yet again for us. We got some inbound action with 22 seconds left. Can we get a, another quick three to fall for us maybe? That is a lot of space and of course, catch and shoot activated to put a cap on this game. 108 to 66 and the points were put up in great fashion. Great defense being played on both ends. Can we maybe strap up one more time? Not getting it, but it's all good though. So we put up a plethora of points, stat sheet stuff in 37, seven and eight with four blocks. Yo, that's really making your presence felt at the rim. And hey, it's a good look for us. Getting 6,300 career hype, 5,000 XP, which is a good look for us. And hey, great field goal percentage, 47 out of 79. Hey, it's a good look. Live. What's up everybody, Professor Live. Today we're gonna to be checking out the one who was just in serious attack mode. Several dumps throughout the game. We gotta check it out together. Let's get into it. Whew. Look like a dunk contest tonight. The one could not be stopped from getting to the rim. Shout out to all the viewers. Appreciate you checking out the reactions. For more videos of the one, just get into the rack at will. Putting on a show like this. Stay tuned. So it looks like it was a good move for us as far as coming to the LA Lakers and helping Brian get another win on the season. And hey, get them to the promised land and get ourselves another championship. But besides that, my people, make sure to stack it up on that like button if you enjoyed this video. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of my NBA Live 19 content. And hey, tell me in the comment section, what do you think of the move that we did today? We're on the Lakers, and hey, a true 3 and D wing for this squad. But hey, my people, we in the house. Peace, guys.